how to sew a patch pocket to a skirt that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you enjoy refashioning projects, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to be adding patch pocket to this skirt and it is an A-line skirt. It can be any style of skirt because you are adding a patch pocket onto the garment and not into the garment. So it can be a pencil skirt even, a fitted, flared, a gathered skirt. So any kind of skirt that you want to add pockets to, this technique will work. So let's get started. The tools you're going to need or the supplies you are going to need for this project are as follows. So you're going to need some basting thread, pins, a needle and a tape measure. So as I said the patch pocket can be applied to any style of skirt and it can also be any shade. So the pocket that I am going to be putting onto my skirt is kind of rectangular in shape and it could be square, it could be triangular, um, perhaps stay away from round. It's not impossible to, to do a round pocket but you probably need to line it more than anything else. If you want to do that this technique will still work. So let's now prepare the pocket and then apply it to the skirt. I mean, I'll give the measurements for mine, but yours could be smaller, it could be bigger, you know, just depends on your body shape or even the style that you're trying to achieve. So here is my patch pocket and you'll need two. It could be one, you know, all depends on your style. And my measurements are roughly, let me see, 29 centimeters, which is roughly about 11 and a half, and 10 inches, and that's roughly about 20, 25.5 centimeters. Um, do neaten around the edges. I've overlocked mine, and there's um, lots of different methods of neatening um, the edge, raw edges of your fabric. I've also applied a facing, and the facing I put towards the side. So this facing could also be at the top of your pocket to put your hands in from the top or it could be from the side. When I do patch pocket I prefer my patch pockets where I can access the pocket by the side rather than the top or well, it can be either or. And the next step before we actually apply it to the skirt is to think about how we are going to turn back the raw edge like so. Now the technique that I used on my skirt that I prefer to use for the corners are going to be a mitered corner where you fold it in like so. And I'll leave, I do have a video tutorial on that so I'll leave the link to that in the description. But if you're new to this and you know you're finding that a mitre corner is a bit tricky, you can just turn your edges like so and then sew it onto your garment. So you have two choices, the mitre corner or just turning back into the pocket itself and you get a finish similar to that. So the first thing to do now is to press all around the edges of the garment. You may see that I've got a seam in here. And what it is, is that I'm using scrap fabrics um, for both of my pockets. So there's a seam in here because there wasn't enough to make the size that I wanted. So I just pieced them together. That's the only reason there is a seam in my pocket. So we're going to then go over to our iron, iron and ironing board and then we're going to press our edges to the wrong side of the pocket. So turn your edges to the wrong side. 
about 1.5 centimeters, five eighths of an inch, thereabouts. And then do that to all sides. And when you come to do your facing, that's going to be bigger. That also is pressed to the wrong side. My pocket is now ready to be put onto my skirt. So this is the right side and this is the wrong side. As you can see, the edges are folded in. So you, you have two choices, whether you want to do a mitered corner and that is what I am going to be doing. And I'll show you how to do that in a video tutorial, link in the description. Or you can simply just turn it back like so and then stitch all the way around. So now that my pocket is done, my pocket, I have already sewn one onto my skirt. Now, I have actually done this by hand, but you don't have to do it by hand. You could do top stitching or edge stitching. Those are the two choices that you will, that you will have. And that is basically where you'll see the stitching on the outside of the pocket. But I wanted to stay true to the style of the skirt and you may want to consider that with the type of skirt that you are working with. So if you want to, you can apply it by hand and I have used a slip stitch all the way around and my hand goes into the side of the pocket. I mean, and you can also have the opening at the top of the pocket like so. So just make your mind up what particular method you are going to use. So if you're going to use the edge stitching or top stitching, I'll leave links to those, vi those video tutorials in the description. So now we are ready to apply our pockets. This way you're gonna need your tape measure and your pins. So it will be a case of, we'll do this one first. So you just need to find whereabouts you are going to be putting your pocket onto your skirt. So my size seam is here. And as I said, this is an asymmetrical, no, it's not asymmetrical, it's an A-line skirt. So it's it comes, it flares out towards the hemline. So as you can see, the seam is here. And as you can see, the pocket is sitting further away from the seam as I go further down. So once you're happy with the position of your pocket, on the opposite side. I'm just gonna roughly put that there so I can show you the next step. So there we go. So that pocket is going to be exactly in the same position as this pocket. And then I'm going to get my pins and I'm going to pin the pocket like this. And then you're going to get your needle and thread and do a basting stitch all the way around because I'm having my pocket opening here. Or you can do it this method all the way around and then you have your pocket opening here. tutorial of how to apply a patch pocket to a skirt. Please let me know in the comments which technique you went for. Was it the edge stitching? Was it the top stitching? Or did you go for the slip stitching where there's no stitching on visible on the front of the pocket and um, like the technique that I've used? If that's what you're going for please let me know in the comments and the reason why and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please do share and if you are new to my channel Consider subscribing if you want more refashioning of old or even new clothing and I will see you next time.